Hi, I'm Kostya Dzu, and welcome to my DVD. In my book, we talk about principle behind the exercise. Now, it's time to start practical. Before we go through each exercise, here is seven important points for you to remember. First, just get started. Second, focus on the breathing correctly. Third, always get the technique right. Fourth, increase your workout only when you have the perfect technique. Fifth, increase your workout rate only when your body feels ready. Sixth, avoid the injury. And finally, be patient, relax and have fun. In this DVD, I want to show you some exercises that help you to burn off fat, improve your stamina, muscle tone, overall fitness and strength, reflexes and timing, and even your balance and coordination. For many of you, there will be new exercises, and at first you must do only what your body allows you to do. If you are concerned in any way about your health, See your medical practitioner before you proceed. See you at the other end. <laughs> Stretching is one of the most basic methods of preventing injury of your muscle. Do this exercise slowly, don't force them, focus on breathing and on stretch itself. Always be careful with your neck, never force it. I've shortened this stretching for the sake of this DVD. I recommend it that you hold each stretch for 10 to 15 seconds. Notice I'm walking my way down from the neck to the shoulders and arms, the sides. the back and finally the legs including the hamstrings hold the stretch and resist the temptation to bounce the Achilles tendon at the back of the ankle and the ankle itself Skipping has many benefits. It improves leg strength, increasing heart lung capacity, improves timing and rhythm, and equipment is cheap. First things first, you have to start just swinging the rope stride. With one arm, the other is jumping. Make sure that the Drop, go, strike. Okay, the second part is uh, start learning swinging the rope and jumping at the same time. Make sure that when the rope touches the ground, you have to be on the air. Watch me now.
three parts is very important about jumping the rope. First thing, it's leg. It's important to not jump too high, uh, otherwise you're not going to be able to jump for a long time. Secondly, your shoulders. Shoulders has to be very, very relaxed, floppy. Otherwise, again, you get tired very fast. And thirdly, it's uh, breathing. Breathing is very, very important. And uh, usually you have to breathe three, four jump in and three, four jumps out. Okay, a few ways of skipping again. You can use your body weight from one foot to another. It's one thing. Second thing, you can do two jumps in one feet, two jumps in another one. It's most important to change the balance, change your body weight from one feet to another. Third one, more advanced, you can like a, make it like a run. Okay, I will quickly show you two of the more advanced skipping exercises. This exercise is called double under. Turn the rope twice for every jump. And crossing your hands. for doing push-ups. It's interesting time because so many different ways of doing very simple push-up. Stay in the same technique from the first one right to the end. Don't make an uh, excuse for yourself that you're tired or not. Just make sure that you're doing less but properly than more and not correctly. Different push-ups achieve different things. You can vary the position of the hand, the speed, and the depth. I'm doing my push-ups on my knuckles because it's my job. Uh, it's not necessary for everybody to do it on the knuckles, they can do it on your palm and uh, your elbow has to go behind your, your back. This is the way. Straight position, back is straight and they just go down. Up and up. Watch your breathing. Push ups benefit many aspects of your fitness. They improve the stability of your body. Your shoulders and chest become stronger. So do your triceps. Absolute beginners might want to begin with their knee touching the ground instead of having their feet out behind them. Just start in the kneeling position. Doing 30 and then you can relax. If you've done 30 and not tired, do 50. And one day you're gonna do 100 and you're gonna say it's not enough. I'm gonna demonstrate you another way of doing push-ups with the elbow not going right behind your back a little bit on the side. It's a little different exercise for a little different part of the muscle, but doing exactly the same job, make you stronger. You see elbow go on the side. And the good things about these two different exercises, you can do more if you do combine them together. Say you've done 10 like this, change the angle and done 10 like this. Change the angle and do it again. 
you can do more exercises, more push-ups with this technique. Now I'm going to show you another way of doing push-ups. It's a bit harder. It's push-ups on, uh, on the fingers. It's strengthening your hand and same doing, doing push-ups. Make sure that you're doing correctly, otherwise your finger is going to be break. Watch the technique again. I would recommend you to start with the 10 push-ups like this and then slowly, gradually increase to some other number. Every time by one. You're gonna be perfect in the next couple of weeks. This exercise not many people like to do because it's a very difficult exercise uh, and the more you do, better you will be. Uh, and it's only way to get great stomach, it's spend lots of time on this particular exercise. Okay, time to do some stomach exercise. I deliberately choose this exercise because you don't need any apparatus or anyone else around you. You can do it anywhere, anytime. Let's start it. Remember, for all of these exercises, have your stomach muscles drawn in. This will make the exercise more effective. This is straight one, next one on the side. To avoid straining your neck, Make sure you only use your stomach muscles. And another direction. These exercises are not just for fitness fanatics. They are for people who want the look of great abdominal muscle or want to stabilize the body and spine. And don't forget, the more you do, the better your stomach will be. Okay, what we've done in the last exercise, we brought the uh, body to the legs. Now we do an opposite way, we bring the legs to the body. Straight on and put yourself on the side. And another way. Support your upper body by placing your hands to the sides and slightly behind you. I want to repeat again. The more you do, the stronger your stomach will be. Okay, when you've done this exercise for some time, you're ready for the next one. A bit harder, but still, it's still easy. What you have to do, lie down and then bring your feet and hands together. Say so doing 30, 40, 50 times, feel more, doing more. Okay, now you come to the test. For some time we're already doing some uh, stomach exercise. Now we have to test our stomach, how strong you are. Very simple. Lie on the floor, hands behind your back, your head. Put your feet up and stand for some time. As long as you can do, the better it would be. The distance around 5 to 10 centimeters above the ground. You can breathe deeply and relax really. Ok, 
Okay, we're introducing now the first exercise with a partner. Partner sitting on the floor, feet on the, from the ground, and I throw the ball to him. Feet from the ground. This exercise is good for, uh, to make your waist smaller, what everyone wants to see. Change position. When you finish this, swap it, doing the, what your partner did. Okay, we have another exercise with a partner with medicine ball. Sitting on the floor, lock the uh, feet and the calf muscles next to each other. Make sure you have a feel for the medicine ball before you do this exercise, so you are familiar with the weight. Okay, remember, doing the exercise for the stomach, more you do, better stomach will be. Now we're going to show you some exercises for the neck. This exercise for everybody, for advanced people and for people who have never done the neck before. Uh, first things, move your uh, head back and forth. Roll it slowly without any pressure really. Second, move from side to side. Same thing, slowly. Again, then move from one direction. And another one. In this exercise you can be dizzy a bit, but it doesn't matter, don't worry about it, it's normal. Uh, you just keep doing. The more you do, the better it will be. Okay, we come to the second part of next exercise. A uh, little bit more exciting, a little bit heavier than the previous one. And good things about it, you can do it anywhere. Let's start it. Stretching the neck is more important for people who play physical sport than anyone else. But having a strong neck may prevent even a walk injury that could affect you for the rest of your life. I want to introduce you to another exercise, which is very small weights, which you can get in any sports store. It's a great exercise for stamina. I use myself this uh, before each fight, three minute round, 30 seconds break, similar like in a fight. Uh, I will show you the group of exercise, which you can do anywhere, anytime. Some of the exercises I'm going to show you now. The best one to start with is a very simple one. You put the hands in front of you and hold this for 30 seconds. 30 seconds gone, you're moving them like this and stay in another 30 seconds. After you feel you've gone as long as you can for each exercise, try for another 10 or 15 seconds. After 30 seconds, move hands up. And you finish again after 30 and finish and finish 
and round finish. You're gonna lift hands up for 30 seconds. Right after 30 seconds it's gone, move them on the side. Time is gone, move them in the front. Don't forget, you're gonna have some little pain in the shoulders, it doesn't matter. Three minutes is gone, 30 seconds break. The best way is make your hands relax. Okay, another variety of exercises again. We've done this, we've done this. Just working for the biceps, doing it for 30 seconds, as you usually do. It's not very heavy, some will be for legs, and then move the next 30 seconds for the triceps. Using just the forearms only. And move from the front. Next one is a bit heavy but great. One arm straight, another one walking up, and then right to the halfway. After 30 seconds, another arm working, another, another first one not. The principle behind using hand weights is not to increase the weight, but the time spent using them. These exercises are all about stamina and endurance. Time for a boxing exercise. Hands up. And throw in the punches. Straight. Uppercuts. Don't forget to breathe. In. Help. Same thing up. When your muscles get tired, don't stop it. Go through the barrier when you say, I can't do it anymore, but I'm sure you can do it. Heavy back is fantastic exercise for anybody but you have to learn proper technique how to use it because you can get injured so easily it's a great exercise for stamina uh, endurance and for the power we're going to start using the back and show you how you have to stand in the first place very simple way put your feet together then move this direction this is how you're going to stand in front of the back. Uh, position is right, uh, and then you can start throwing the punches. Again, nail the punch. When you're going to throw the punch, make sure that the, your arm is straight on. From the shoulder right to the knuckle, you're going to straight line. No weak links at all. If you bend in some place, this is the damage going to be. So if you bend in the in elbow, your elbow is going to be sore doing some bend in the wrist it's gonna be so there it's been make sure that your arm is straight on okay every combination starts with a front jab very simple punch but you need to do it correctly your positioning which you already showed before and then you're gonna transfer the your weight from the back feet to the front and throw the punch simple Now you're going to do exactly the same thing, just with a back uh, hand. Uh, you're going to transfer the body weight from back feet to the front one and uh, throw the punch.
Okay, we come to the second punch. It's left or right hook. Uh, okay, it's important of this punch to position in your wrist in the right place. The wrist has to be parallel to the ground. Your elbow has to be straight, straight on, not up, not down. Otherwise, it's going to be damaged. Uh, and the angle and the elbow has to be 90 to 100 degrees. No more, no less. Otherwise, again, you can damage yourself. And then, very simple punch. Same thing with the left hand. You transfer the body weight from right feet to the left feet and then you're making hook. Okay, we come to the third punch, which is uppercut. Uh, very similar what we throw in the last one uh, with the hooks. I'm talking about the angle of the elbow. It has to be 90 degrees or 100 maximum. Otherwise, it's gonna be low blow. Let's watch your hands. I mean, the same thing, positioning, and then throw right. To make sure that you're doing 190 degrees angle, that's the distance you have to come. If you're gonna go too far, it's gonna be open it. I mean, you have to stay close enough, but not too close to make it exactly right angle. Same thing with another hand. gonna start with a very simple combination which is one two one two combination it's a very basic and important in the fight but same time is a great twisting in the back do one two combination many times don't forget about your technique position of your arm don't damage yourself After one-two combination, we come to the bit harder and uh, heavy exercise. One, two, three, four. Start with the four punches, then six punches, eight punches, ten, twenty, whatever, in one go. It means you have to not count. You have to see the rhythm of yourself, and that's how you're going to count the punches. So if you make a four punches combination, it's easy. But we come to the six, ten, you have to listen your rhythm. Not your count, the rhythm. Let's start it. Four. Six. Okay, time for sweat. It's, we've done some combination. Now we're gonna just work out. Very simple. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, uppercuts. It means the distance from, from from yourself to the back has to be not far ahead. Don't forget the positioning of the elbows. Uh, and we're gonna throw the punches non-stop. In here, it's very important about the breathing. You throw in five, six punches in and five, six punches out.
Okay, we're still sweating. Uh, we come to the second part of sweat exercise, just throwing the punches straight on. Ex exactly the same technique, uh, like we throw the straight punches. Don't, don't forget about your elbows, wrist, straight line, and just, just keep doing, keep going. Don't forget again about your breathing. Six, eight punches in, six, eight punches out. We've done some few boxing exercises now, but don't forget, it's lots of things more you can do with the boxing bag, lots of variety of exercises, lots of good stamina uh, exercises and uh, intensity. Uh, you can use your speed, you can use your brains and enjoy yourself. Okay, we come for another interesting part of exercise, floor to ceiling. It looks hard, but it's not. If you're going to have proper timing and uh, doing everything properly, make sure that the, all your punches go straight to make sure that your ball coming back to you. Don't try to hit too hard in the beginning. Just think about your technique because the ball will come back to you. Remember first to hit the back as soft as you need to so you can control the movement of the back and keep hitting it. Better you will be can hit, start hitting harder. Start using all lengths of your arm. Don't afraid to make mistake. Stop it and keep doing. Watch your breathing again. The speedball, it's very similar to floor to ceiling. It's all about timing, all about the rhythm, all about speed. Uh, but a bit different. You learn, you enjoy it. You can even doing this with closing your eyes. Make sure though, that when you hit the ball, ball goes straight in and back to you. And very simple, very easy principles. Let's do it. Notice the rhythm of the back. It's going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Listen to that rhythm. Very, very slow exercise in the beginning. When you start learning a bit, uh, understand this technique in the beginning, then you can increase your speed. But in the beginning, don't afraid to make mistakes. When you make mistake, stop it, 
keep doing the game. show now a few different ways of doing this exercise first one is very simple punch after one after another left right left right second one is uh, you can do the two punches with one hand I mean you throw in this and in the back and then come to the another hand Remember, let your ears do some of the work. Listen to the rhythm. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You hit the ball after the three. Here again, everything about timing. You don't need to hit too hard, you just hit the constant movement. And probably another one, the more interesting as well, it's punch without to make ball come back to you. When you're gonna close your eyes, you can still do this exercise. I will demonstrate this to you. The reason I can do this with my eyes closed is because I listen to the rhythm of the bag. I think the good things about this, you can even visualize in your head what exactly you're doing. It will help you. Okay, time to have some fun. We come to the stage where we're doing some interesting exercises for the balance, for your coordination, and for uh, reflexes. If you think you're born without this, you're, you're wrong. Uh, you can improve your uh, balance, you can improve your coordination and reflexes doing these exercises. Okay, the first exercise involves only very simple things, just simple coin. And what you need to do, just put this like this, throw and catch it. Easy. Repeat it again. Easy. Get harder, you put two coins. Put them and have to catch it. Try again. Harder to do three. Okay, we have some tests for you to see how sharp you are, have got speed or not, and try to do exactly the same what I do, try to rip the paper. Okay, we have a couple more exercises with a partner. Very simple. Point to his hand and I have to catch it. This exercise improves focus as well as reflexes. To catch the coin, you have to be quick. But no use being quick unless you also focus on the hand and watch as it releases. This exercise is great for reflexes and for speed. Uh, improve your speed dramatically. Okay, now we have some exercise for balancing and equilibrium with a partner. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. 
In the beginning it's gonna be hard, but st start with the five, six, then increase it to 20. More you're gonna do, it better will be. Okay, we have some another exercise for you for balancing equilibrium. Now it's not involved partner, just yourself. Make sure that no subject around you. And exercise is very simple. You just point the finger and find the, some point in the air and just rolling around yourself. Make sure you focus on the finger you have pointing upwards. Say you've done 10 times, you feel good, you feel a bit dizzy. Let, make a break and try to do it in another direction. <laughs> Bit dizzy, but it's okay. More you do, better you will feel. I just hope you enjoy this exercise. They were special designs, so you can pick one of them or mix them up the way you want. But just remember these important principles. First, just get started. Second, focus on the breathing correctly. Third, always get the technique right. Fourth, increase your workout only when you have the perfect technique. Fifth, increase your workout rate only when your body feels ready. Sixth, avoid the injury. And finally, be patient relax and have fun remember that any exercise regime should be accompanied by healthy balanced and appropriate diet such as one I have described in my book I hope you enjoy trying these exercises there is so much more I have to share with you We'll do plenty of other things in the future. You will know when you're ready. I'm Kostya Zhu and see you next time.